I want to take the time and answer the following question that was posted on Quera. What are the basic power team positions to surround a real estate investor with in order to successfully invest in wholesale and multifamily real estate acquisition and build a healthy portfolio? This is a very good question and I think it's relevant not just when you're buying wholesale and multifamily, but altogether when you are a real estate investor, a beginner, an advanced one, you're probably asking yourself this question and the following team members you should probably have are the following. First of all, you need an agent, someone you can trust, someone you can, who knows the area, someone who knows, um, have that good access to the uh, MLS, someone that possibly is a good or experienced with working with real estate investors. This is mostly important when you're buying outside of your immediate area, the area that you know very well where you live in. The second um, team is probably property manager. Assuming you will hold the property as a rental, even for a short period of time, maybe a year or so, you would want to have a, you know, a quality, established, someone you can trust, property manager on your team. The third person you want to have is a mentor. A mentor is someone that you can bounce idea with, someone you can call and ask for support, for, for you know, someone you can challenge and can challenge you back with concept or ideas you are having or uh, actions you are about to take and you want to bounce it uh, off someone else, someone that can help you and come in with a fresh eyes when you are running into troubles, when you are running into walls in the process. The process may be the acquisition side of it or it can even be just the, uh, uh, you know, the holding power portion of it. So a mentor is someone that can help you, help guide you through the process of uh, investing and holding all together. Next, you want to have an inspector, someone that will come in, inspect the property, um, will, evaluate, you know, will estimate what, are the wor what work needs to be done, if at all, if any work needs to be done, how much is it going to cost, at least give you a rough estimate. Next, you want to have an appraisal, someone that will come and represent you, someone unbiased and say the property is worth so much and you will you'll be able to use that uh, um, either to, you know, for your offer, to make your offer a better offer or to counter offer if necessary. Next, you want to have an attorney that will, um, that will uh, go through your uh, documents, uh, that will make sure you are doing everything uh, rightfully and you know and safely you want to have a tax person or a CPA that will help you plan for uh, taxes that will help you plan for cash flow it's you know everything that is related to the tax aspect of this transaction or your portfolio altogether and next you want to have an insurance person insurance person will help you not only set your insurance on the property it will probably help you evaluate are you having enough insurance uh, if you already have an insurance on your property, you know, it's someone that you may want to have them review your insurance every once in a while, maybe once a year or so, to make sure you are still uh, well insured uh, on your property. So just to uh, recap that, you want to have an agent, you want to have a property manager, you want to have a mentor, you want to have an inspector, an you know, inspection uh, um, engineer, you want to have an appraisal, an attorney, a tax or a CPA person, and an insurance person. Those are probably the main key team players you want to have on your team when you're doing when you're handling real estate transactions.